Woj, what are you hearing about how, if at all, this whole situation affects the future of Kevin Durant in Brooklyn? Yeah, I, listen, I, I, I don't think Kevin Durant is at a point now where he's, I think in the short term, going to ask out again. But, you know, as Zach said, it does feel imminent uh, at some point this season or prior to the trade deadline if this team doesn't make significant strides. And, you know, take Kyrie Irving out of the equation here. The, the, the fact that Ben Simmons has been, I think, I think he's been a source of frustration mm. for Kevin Durant, for others on the Nets so far, because he has been unable, uh, now he's unable to, to stay on the floor with a knee injury. But prior to that, you know, he has shown uh, that he is a long way away uh, from being back to an impactful player. I think it's a big part of the reason why the Nets are at the very bottom of the league defensively. And none of this really works. Uh, this team was built and, and, and reconstructed around the idea that Ben Simmons would have to play a really significant role for this team, you know, especially on the defensive end, especially rebounding the basketball and, and certainly facilitating on offense. And uh, there's no indication right now that Ben Simmons is close uh, to being anywhere uh, back to anywhere near the player he once was. And so you add that on top of the Kyrie Irving situation. It is hard to imagine right now at two and six and this team looking at some significant road games in their near future, that by the time Kyrie Irving could potentially be back and Ben Simmons is playing at a high enough level, uh, if he's going to at all, uh, that the Nets will be competitive enough uh, for Kevin Durant to not look around and say, I I'd like to revisit the conversation we had over the summer. And once that happens, you know, as Zach said, you know, he's really the last chip you have uh, or the last significant chip on that team uh, to try to get assets back and get out from under all the investment they've made in salary and players and draft picks uh, to try to win with this iteration of, of uh, their core players. And right now, Jacques Vaughn still coaching on the sidelines for Brooklyn. He will be coaching tonight against the Wizards. Where do they stand in hiring a, a next head coach, Woj? And Malik, I, the, the last few days... Uh, obviously, the, the Kyrie Irving situation dominated uh, the intention, the time of Nets ownership, Nets management. And so I think today is a day for them to be able to get back, I think in a little more immersive way into uh, that coaching search. And certainly, uh, uh, Ime Udoka, you know, the Nets is very much uh, on the brink uh, for Brooklyn as, as their next coach, but they're still talking to people, uh, gathering up, you know, a level of information and understanding and uh, clarity uh, on what led to his suspension in Boston, uh, essentially an ouster in Boston. Uh, but I think for Brooklyn, uh, you know, Jacques Vaughn with a, you know, with a back-to-back -to -back tonight in Washington and then Charlotte, uh, certainly he's going to be coaching those games uh, but I think Brooklyn's attention now with Irving now starting to serve the, the suspension gets back to completing this coaching search. And Ime Aduka certainly is at, is, is at the forefront of that. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.